yeah, like I said, I, I don't hate I don't hate them, but I mean to some extent it, it affects the community. I mean, imagine if your parents were homo. Obviously, we wouldn't have been on it. So <laughs> naturally, it doesn't make sense. You understand this? Um, I think so to differ, there's there's nothing about being um, an LGBT person that says you cannot procreate. Uh -huh. There are LGBT people that have kids. It's not to the normal way, right? Which one is normal way? Which one is um, not uh, Obviously, I mean, <laughs> uh, two ladies can produce a child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. But it's not all about procreation, right? It is. I mean, no, life is not all about procreation. But if, if life is about procreation to you, then what you're actually saying is that, um, excuse me to say, a woman who is barren should not get married because no, she no, can't no, give birth. No, not necessarily. But like or I a said, man who... Like I said, you're on this side because mm -hmm. your mom and your dad met together and they brought you into this world. But what I'm saying is that if you want to have a child, it's got nothing to do with you necessarily living with a man or living with course, a woman to have a course, child. I understand. But what I'm saying is that without a man and a woman, it's not possible to bring a child into the world. Exactly. So you so, need a sperm and an egg mm -hmm. to give to have a child. Yeah. You don't need a man and a woman living together to have a child. Not, not necessarily together, but what I'm saying is that there must be a man, there must, there be, must be a male, a and there must be a and female. An egg, yes. Yeah, so... Yeah, so if your difference. issue is about procreation, what I'm saying is that human beings can procreate, whereby the man and the woman don't necessarily have to live together to procreate. No, so no doubt. I have a song, I'm gonna sing.